We are back with uh, Dave Erickson, founder and CEO of Free Conferencing Corporation. Dave, let's take you back uh, historically, and you were in high school going up in Downey, and uh, just tell us uh, how things evolved. Yeah, so, uh, you know, at, in high school days, I was thinking I was going to become an architect. I'm, I'm uh, the son of an architect and, and uh, was taking in an engineering uh, drafting type course in, in, in high school. Um, but uh, graduated from high school and, and uh, didn't, didn't, didn't pursue that, didn't go any further in, in that. Um, actually went right out and, and, you know, tried to start businesses and, and just kind of make my own way. And you came to Long Beach. I did. I, I, I moved to Long Beach uh, over 20 years ago. Um, and at the time, it was a, a, a job I was, was, was looking for was available here and, and moved into Long Beach. And uh, I can't see myself living anywhere else. No, it's here. a great city. Uh, our last show uh, focused on Long Beach as the aquatic capital of America, which is so fitting. And uh, those of us who live here and love it uh, realize what a unique city it is and uh, a real sense of community even though it's a big city and it's a world-class city with a world-class port, we still have a sense of community to it. But so you moved to Long Beach, and uh, where did you get this idea of uh, pulling a few fractions of a cent off of each call? Where did that come from? <laughs> well, you know, I tried a number of different things. Uh, I, I was in construction. I was in uh, worked in uh, selling insurance and and uh, this and that. And uh, I, I had a conversation with a fellow one day, and he talked to me about the world of telecom and, and how if you uh, participate in, in, in telecom that, that you can actually make money while you're sleeping, that, that, that uh, <laughs> people are calling uh, all, all the time. And, and uh, you know, that was something that just got under my skin and I thought about and thought about. And, and uh, I really started angling to, to somehow get involved in, in that. And... Uh, it was through a series of attempts that uh, I came across the idea of, of eliminating the organizer fees on a conference call and getting this, you know, kind of behind the scenes revenue um, and, and, and thinking that maybe um, if I could do that, that I could get enough customers, enough volume to, to uh, uh, you know, make a go at it. And you're not an engineer. You don't have an engineering background. You're not a Silicon Valley type person. You, you just had this this insight that there may be an opportunity there. That's 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 right, and that's you know that's what I that's what I love about this country, right? I uh, we we bootstrapped this company, so there was no no investments in this company, no investment banks or anything like that. We were never able to to borrow money, um, and I didn't you know know a whole lot about that. Um, and as far as engineering, um, you know, it, it was just a good idea. It was a, it was a wow. good idea and pushed it out there and, and was fortunate enough to find good people to help me do that. And what I heard you saying between the lines, and, and I, this is really important uh, uh, because uh, many of us have failed at different things we've tried. You tried different things that didn't quite work out and you kept on trying until you found one that uh, obviously is a home run. Yeah, I tried a lot of things. If we've probably sat here to recount them all, I wouldn't even be able to remember. <laughs> um, some I don't want to remember. Uh, you know, they didn't work out all that well. But uh, yeah, that's exactly exactly right. I just kept kept trying. New you things. kept trying, and 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 then you found one where the door opened after a lot of doors didn't open. Yeah, and 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 that that and and you know started a whole new thing. Um, you know, running a business uh, of the size and and. In the dealings that we have, we're, we've we've got facilities in 52 countries around the world to deliver this network. Um, I had a, a lot of learning to do on the fly as as it grew, and it it, it never stopped growing. And, uh, what kind of facilities do you physically have to have in different countries to deliver the services that you do? So um, we use a lot of audio conferencing bridges, which is a, a, a piece of equipment that that receives multiple telephone calls and then bridges the right people together so that you can have a call with more than two people on it. And our calls go up to a thousand people on a call. Um, and so we have these bridges around the world and then 
there's ancillary equipment that goes around those bridges, and then we have to make relationships with all these different phone companies around the world. So are these buildings in these different country, uh, countries with these bridges, or is it a box somewhere on a pole? Or Well, some, some are, are, are boxes, you know, uh, they're not quite on a pole, they sit on the ground, um, and, and you've probably seen them. Uh, but uh, mainly we're in the central office of phone companies. And so typically we partner with a phone company and then we put our equipment in, in rack space in that phone company and then they power it with all of the connectivity. The same phone company that's giving you the fraction of the cent for the call. That's right. And the incentive of the phone company to do that is that they are drawing business away from other phone companies? Well, they're, so, so they, they make this revenue stream from terminating access and, and we incrementally improve that. So we, we add on to their business. And so when I meet a new partner, you know, the pitch is, is hey, I'm coming in, I'll put this box in and, and I'll make it rain minutes and, and you'll make good money off of you'll it. You'll need, you'll, you'll make it rain minutes. This I'll box it, will. I'll make it rain minutes. <laughs> so, uh, you're in 50 countries, you say. Uh, is the goal now to increase uh, your global reach and get into other countries? Yeah, I would like to see, you know, probably 80, 80, 90 countries. Um, it was years ago when we looked, uh, you know, at our traffic and where it was coming from. We found that the, that the bridges that we had here in the United States were receiving traffic from 160 countries around the world. Wow. And so it's, it's interesting to think, you know, we never marketed to those companies, we never advertised, that they could all find it through this, this viral activity, but they did. Amazing, amazing. The power of the internet and something going viral. Okay, we'll be back with this great discussion after these messages. How do you like your chances the rest of the way? I got no idea. But I do know that if we stay with Naples Rib Company, at least we won't go hungry. Coach, what do you think about some of those questionable calls tonight? Oh, yeah, but if you want a sound call, I'd call Naples Rib Company. You can't miss on that call. Then Naples Rib Company is part of your game plan? There really is nothing more motivating than a great barbecue meal at Naples Rib Company. Victory or not, Naples Rib Company, great game plan. Founded in 1976, Polly's Gourmet Coffee is Southern California's most complete gourmet coffee store. Polly's has the best tasting coffee freshly roasted every day right in the store. Plus a wide selection of teas, an in-house bakery, espresso bar, patio dining, and more. We also offer Wi-Fi, free internet access for all of our customers. Our nationwide clientele agree, when it comes to coffee, there's only one name to remember. Polly's, 4606 East 2nd Street, welcoming you into Belmont Shore. When I was a boy growing up in Italy, I had a dream to own my own store. I came to the United States and I worked hard as a tailor. Hi, I'm Umberto. I've been in Long Beach since 1960, carrying the finest quality men's clothing. It was a long way away, but styles are just around the corner. Umberto, 2141 Belfar, Long Beach. Who needs this modern world? I can live just fine out here without the road rage and boy bands. Of course, I might miss my Charter HD with football on ESPN and Walking Dead on AMC. ESPN and AMC. And, well, Shark Week on Discovery HD. But that's all. AMC, ESPN, Discovery, TBS, and Comedy Central HD. But that's it. Except for HBO HD. Charter now has over 100 HD channels and more brilliant HD shows on demand than ever.